earth-shattering performance by the Boston Celtics. To lose like that, the opening game, you question yourself, can we beat these guys? Can we beat these guys? No contest, game one. Give it to the Boston Celtics by a wide margin. We were beat 148 to 114. Once it started to get away from us, I just let it go. I said, just let it go. And, uh, and I wanted to get beat 170. Because I needed something for the next day. Pat Riley made us watch four hours of film the next day. And he just lit into us. And then he took Kareem and really led him to him. I was angry. You know, I was about as angry as I could, could be as to a performance, especially what happened to us the year before. And the whole tape was really about him and what we had to do to get ready to fight this team. Pat Riley had enough. At the end, we had one of those old chalkboards. He put his fist through that and said, this will never happen again. Kareem wasn't only catching it from Riley. There were two long days between game one and game two in Boston. And for two brutal days, the media treated Kareem like a dartboard. The media just crucified him. Said he was too old. Said he's, he's run off the court by Parrish and Mikhail. That he should have retired. I mean, they just blistered him. People would kill him. I think he had three rebounds and 12 points. People said he's done. It was everybody deciding that my career was over. You know, that, that's what it was. We were getting on the bus for game two. Pat Riley is a stickler for rules. And everybody followed his rules to a T. No friends, no family on the bus, uh, any of that stuff. And uh, I remember Kareem running to the bus and there was somebody coming with him. Kareem gets on the bus with me and yeah, and he said, can my dad ride with us to the game? And I said, absolutely. He don't let anybody ride the bus. Nobody can ride the bus. And we're sitting there saying, wow. I wasn't about ready to, you know, you know enforce some kind of stupid rule, you know, here, <laughs> you know, at this time. Because I think at that time, the solace that he was looking for and probably needed was the voice of his father.